Okay, my dear students. Now I am going to teach you about pollen grain. <clears throat> now the question is, what is the meaning of pollen grain, and where they are going to produce? That I am going to teach you. Before that, I want to tell you about stamen. Already you know that the definition of stamen. Stamen it is nothing but it is the main reproductive structure of the flower. Now this figure is showing typical stamina. Okay, already you know that typical stamina consists of a filament and anther. Here this figure is of dithecus anther. In dithecus anther, two lobes are there, and each lobe is containing two pollen chambers. In this way. The dithecus anther is containing four pollen chambers, and these four pollen chambers are also known as microsporangia or pollen sacs. Within these four pollen chambers, microsporangia, there are fine powdery granular mass of cells, and these are known as pollen grains or microspores. Here you are observing. Small spherical cell structures are there, and these are known as pollen grains or microspores. If you see this pollen grain, this individual pollen grain under the simple microscope, you may observe such figure. Okay, now let us study how the pollen grain gets matured. See here, before maturity, this pollen grain is containing. Centrally located in nucleus, along with small amount of cytoplasm, but eventually this centrally located nucleus migrates towards the peripheral region, and after that it divides, and after division, the nuclei move towards the opposite poles, and after this a small callus wall develops between these two nuclei. In this way. Two cells are formed in a single microspore, in a single pollen grain. One is larger irregular cell, which is called as vegetative cell, and the other is spindle-shaped smaller cell, which is called as generative cell. In this way, a matured pollen grain contains two cells. One is vegetative cell, and the other one is generative cell. Okay, at this two-cell stage. Pollen grains are ready to liberate from the pollen chambers. This is the development of pollen grain. Now, let us study the structure of matured pollen grain. Here, this diagram is representing structure of matured pollen grain. See here, in this diagram, you are observing that <coughs> the pollen grains are usually spherical in shape. Measuring about 20 to 25 micrometer in diameter, and also here you are observing two layered wall. See here, one is blue color and the other one is green color. In this way, pollen grain has two layered wall, namely outer axon. This is axon, and inner anti. This is anti. Blue one is called axon. And the green one is called anti, and this outer axon is made up of a um, hard organic matter which is called as sporopollenin, and inner anti is made up of cellulose and pectin. Here, what is the meaning of sporopollenin, and what is its significance? Sporopollenin is nothing but it is a hard organic material present on the axon. its function is it protects the pollen grains from the environmental extremes like high temperature alkalis and strong acids and also you must remember that due to the presence of this hard organic substance sporopollenin pollen grains can be well preserved as pollens this is very important thing this is the significance of sporopollenin okay now uh, This axon layer, this axon layer has a small pore. See this here, here, here. This axon layer 
ex exile layer has small pores and these pores are known as germ pores where sporopollen is totally absent and also you must remember when pollen grains germinate the inner layer in time comes out and forms a long tube here and this tube is known as pollen tube through the germ pore and finally the mature pollen grain contains two cells one is vegetative cell and the other is generative cell already i told you okay this is about the structure of the pollen grain definitely the question will come under this concept what is the question explain the structure of pollen grain with a neat level diagram 100% question it is for 5 marks okay please try to understand if they are going to ask uh, this question for 5 marks you should write 1 2 3 4 5 5 points along with this diagram okay you should mention exine in time germ pore and also vegetative cell and generative cell then definitely you will get totally 5 marks and one more thing you should remember that is the pollen grains have beneficial effects as well as harmful effects now what are the beneficial effects see here the pollen grains are rich in nutrients like proteins amino acids lipids and glucose that's why they are used as good food supplements athletes and race horses use use pollen grains as tablets to enhance their performance and also you must remember what are the harmful effects of the pollen grains see here what are the harmful effects there are some pollen grains which cause respiratory disorders like bronchitis asthma and high fever for example parthenium or carrot grass and this is about pollen grains and take the notes of this one and remember please okay